Hi, Wes Scott from Life Back Law, and today we're going to talk about gambling and bankruptcy. Uh, gambling is a medical problem, um, and uh, I, I don't think it's any different than having alcoholism or having uh, a blood disease or any other condition. It's a medical problem. And I feel bad for people who've got this, this medical problem, this addiction. Um, and, the, and the question is, are gambling debts dischargeable in bankruptcy? And I think they absolutely are. And here's why. You know, look, um, gamblers do not think they're going to lose money. They're there to make money. And that very desire is the reason why it can't be fraud. You're not there to lose money. Your intent is not to go there, I know I'm going to lose money. No, you're there to make money. That's what you're trying to do. And so I've, I've never had a problem with gambling debt being dischargeable. There are situations where a creditor can raise an objection to you discharging debt because you didn't have the intent to repay it, but I think that would be very difficult to prove in a gambling situation because gamblers do not intend to lose. They do not go into this going, look, I'm going to borrow five grand and I know I'm going to lose it, so therefore it got, it's got to be fraud. Well, I don't believe that. I mean, you know, you take out $5,000 in debt thinking you're going to turn that $5,000 into $100,000. you are going to pay the five grand back. You're going to make $95,000. So I think gambling debts are dischargeable. When the time is right, when you are ready to get your life back, reach out to Life Back Law. You're going to be so thankful you did.